okay? Don't say a word. Just keep walking real casual, okay? Let's do this. I'll show it to you, but you can't tell anybody else where it is, okay? Deal. They keep it way in the back with the really rare stuff. Hey, what's up? How goes it? Good to see you. The kids who work here don't know where it came from, of course, but neither do the old timers. None of them bought it, so there's no tracking number. As far as they know, it's just always been here. Okay, this is where they usually keep it. Uh-oh. No, no, did somebody buy it? Oh, man! I would have bought it myself, but I just felt like it was too big, too valuable, like the kind of thing no one man should possess. Yes! Here it is. Okay. You sure you're ready for this? Because what I hold in my hand is not just gonna blow your mind. It's gonna blow your soul. Go ahead. Open it. If you dare. Watch it, dude, check it. Oh, hey, Riggs, uh, sorry I smashed your guitar last night. <laughs> what the? It's like new. Well, how'd you do that? Yeah, I'll try not to smash it so much this time. Don't mess with that guy, he scares me. <laughs> hey, Eddie, man. I hate to ask, but our manager wanted to know, when are you gonna build us, like, a new set? This Stonehenge stuff was funny in a kind of ironic retro sort of way, but... Look, Eddie, don't get me wrong, you're the best, okay? The greatest roadie in the biz. Everybody knows you can fix anything, build anything. Well, so maybe you could build us something that would speak more to our tween demographic. Is all I'm saying. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to join the modern world, you know? All right! Do you people want to hear some heavy metal? Fix anything except that metal is dead. So fine, old man. Say what? You ever feel like you were born in the wrong time? Like you should have been born earlier, when the music was real? Like the seventies? Earlier? Like the early seventies? Uh oh. I told you not to climb on that, you stupid mother! Fucking piece of shit! You can't Please let him fall. Damn it! Good roadie knows his whole job is to make someone else look good. Keep someone else safe. Help someone else do what they were put here to do. A good roadie stays out of the spotlight. If he's doing his job right, you don't even know he's there. Once in a while he might step on stage just to fix a problem. 
to set something right. But then before you even realize he was there, or what he did, he's gone. to serve our master. Uh, hey. <laughs> hey, I'm not your master. No, you are not. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I totally know the Master. We're really good friends. Known each other since kindergarten. And, uh, if anything were to happen to me, he'd be super... Get away from that guitar! I just tune that thing. Thank you. 
Alright, nice try, lady. Or whatever you are. I'm supposed to think you're a nun, but I know you're really some kind of big, ugly demon, so let's have it. Aha! I knew it! Big, ugly demon. Kinda sexy, though, in a weird way. I think I heard once that killing nuns is bad luck. I'd better get out of here. Okay, all right. Well, here goes. Um, oh man, gotta get this thing moving. Let's see here. Um, evil, uh... Dear evil, messed up demon powers of darkness, uh, and unimaginable evil. Please transport me off this awesome corpse pile. I am but a visitor in your strange world, which some would call hellish. But I have to admit, it's kind of badass. Oh, lords of gross leather things and S&M type wear. You know you guys really have style. That battle nun, <laughs> she was hot. Uh, sorry about killing her, uh, but you're evil though, right? So we're cool. I didn't even know- By your good graces- Uh-oh. Uh, I meant evil! Evil graces! Ah, son of a- Hey, Baldi, Baldi, Tabudi, Kopdi, Datu. Oh man, don't tell me I've been slaying hot girls this whole time. The axe. So you come for it as well. No, but these guys jumped me and. Hang on. And it was just sitting there, so. You handle it very naturally. Yeah, that's kind of strange, isn't it? I've never touched an axe before. Who are you? Uh, right shoulder. We've got to get out of here before he arrives. Yeah. Wait, before who arrives? Emperor Deviculus. Who? Emperor Deviculus, where are you from? It's kind of hard to say. Um, I kind of live on the road. Be assured, you don't want to be here when he arrives. What's the big deal? You're slaughtering his personal guard, for one thing. Oh. Uh -huh. Alright, yeah. So, what did you say your name is? Come on, we have to run! Door before the too late. Yeah, that's a lot of dudes. What is this place? The Temple of Ormagodon. It's a place of ancient power, but no one knows its true purpose. What have you 
done. Created beauty by simply rocking, that's all. Is that helping us get out of here alive? Actually, yeah, I think so. Is it a minecart? I call it the Druid Plow. Let me show you how it works. What you do, you slam it into goo, hoo, hoo, hello. Looks like it's working already. You have awakened the spirit of the beast himself. I hope so. This is much better. We need to reach the bridge before they shut the feeding area gates. Feeding area? What are they feeding? If we get there fast enough, you might not need to find out. Um, what's up with Crazy Legs? They've called in reinforcements. Why such a large force? What? Maybe because we're badasses. Or maybe Emperor What's-His-Name has something against you. Okay, I haven't mentioned it yet, but this place is nuts. <laughs> Yes, these are dark times for our land, but there are a few of us fighting to change the way things are. Is that why you've come? To join us and fight for the liberation of humanity? You know, I don't really know. Haven't really thought about it yet, but uh, so far that's the best explanation I've heard. We do 